Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Top Note by A. Today I have a new fragrance that I want to share with you guys. It's from Navitus Parfum XAI The Great. The fragrance name is Ambrosia Imperial. If you guys are interested to find out about this fragrance from AI The Great and Navitus Parfum, then stay tuned. Well guys, before I share my review of Ambrosia Imperial, if you are visiting this channel for the first time, you are very much welcome. My name is Amanda. To all my returning viewers and subscribers, thank you so much for always supporting this channel. That being said, AI The Great um, collaborated with Navitus Performs and she came out with this fragrance called Ambrosia Imperial. If you guys don't know about AI The Great, she is a fragrance reviewer here on YouTube. I can leave a direct link to her channel if you guys are interested. She's a really nice lady, very beautiful, you know, very elegant lady. And she's one of my favorite YouTubers, fragrance YouTubers. Also, when it comes to Navitus Performs, my first ever video on YouTube was on Navitus Perform X Bowtie Fragrance Guy. So I do have that relationship with Navitus Perform fragrances. I tend to like or love their fragrances. One of my favorite fragrances of all time is Obad from Navitus Perform. That being said, I'm going to give you my honest opinion about the new fragrance from AI The Great Ambrosia Imperial. This is the box there is a sleeve that this fragrance comes in but you know i've been using the fragrance but this is the box that the fragrance sits in you open the box like that and the fragrance sits in a pedestal like this beautiful luxurious elegant just like the person who came out with it so yeah moving on the bottle itself guys it's not like any other Navitus Parfum bottles that I'm used to. It, but the bottle actually reminds me of a sister company or another company that is owned by Navitus Parfums. I forgot the name, but they do have similar bottles like this. This is different from Navitus Parfums bottles. So I appreciate that about, you know, about the fragrance bottle. I appreciate the fact that they gave AI the great um, a new bottle. They didn't give her one of those, you know, generic bottles that they tend to give the fragrance reviewers when they collaborate with them. So I like that. When it comes to the cap, you guys know that I always talk about cap, um, fragrance cap when I'm reviewing fragrances. So the cap is not heavy. It's gold. It's not heavy bad and it's not magnet but it does cap really really well to the point that i feel confident enough to hold the fragrance by the cap i do not advise that but i feel confident doing that also the bottle um, the name of the fragrance house navitus perform ambrosia imperial is written um on like a plate and then it's attached to the bottle so elegant luxurious just like the person who did the fragrance so that's what i can say about this fragrance when it comes to the optimizer optimizer it sprays really really well this fragrance is 125 ml 4.2 fluid ounces so once again all the Navitus perform fragrances that i have are 100 ml and this is 125 so you are getting you know a lot of fragrance for the amount that you pay for this fragrance this fragrance is extra they perform it retails for 245 dollars but during the period that you can pre-order this there was a 30 percent coupon that ai the great gave everybody that was pre-ordering and so i was able to grab this for 175 dollars right now they do not have the the 30 percent of coupon if they do have any sale going on before i post this video i can leave the link to the sale so that if you guys are interested in buying this fragrance 
you can buy it for the you know for the 30 percent off or if they have 20 percent off you can also get the fragrance guys so let's talk about the fragrance note ai the great had said that she wanted the fragrance to remind her of banana foster a fragrance that smells like banana foster if you guys know anything about ai the great she loves her gourmands so she wants a fragrance that smells like banana foster and so the opening of the fragrance opens with divina banana rum cylon cinnamon and brazilian orange middle of the fragrance has date amber with jasmine and orchid and then the base of the fragrance has benzoin saffron caramel mask whipped cream and vanilla and so yeah these are the notes of the fragrance on my skin guys this fragrance when i first sprayed the fragrance on my skin for some reason i did not get the banana i thought i was gonna get this banana like you know fresh ripe banana but i didn't get it the first time i sprayed the fragrance also the first thing i got when i sprayed the fragrance was the saffron it was so beautiful the first thing i the first time i sprayed the fragrance i got the saffron and then as the fragrance dried down i started picking up the whipped cream and the vanilla the date i i was looking for something like syrupy sweet from the date but i didn't get it but i was getting this sweet whipped cream and vanilla you know a little woody in the dry down so what i did was i let the fragrance sit for a little bit and then i used it again because i was very disappointed to the point that i wasn't even smelling the fragrance and so i was disappointed but then i let the fragrance sat for just a little bit for like maybe another two days and then i put the fragrance on now guys i got the banana i got the banana but the banana did not last so the banana did not last but i did get the banana when i sprayed the fragrance on so i got this beautiful banana i still didn't get like any booziness though because i was hoping for that what this fragrance um reminds me of is if you guys are from Ghana, if you have tried fruites, so there is this dessert and it's called fruites. It's made with banana, it's sugary, it's syrupy, it's so sweet. This is what the fragrance reminds me of. So I don't know how banana foster smells like or tastes like. I've never had banana foster, but I, I have had fruites. And so this reminds me of fruites, except that the banana did not last throughout the longevity of the fragrance. I did get the saffron. The saffron was in the beginning. I still got the saffron with the banana. And then as the fragrance starts to dry down, I started getting the sweetness from the date, but it's not syrupy sweetness at all also i was picking up like the jasmine but it wasn't heavy jasmine it was just like floral um but i still you know pick up a little bit of the jasmine here and there it was lingering it wasn't overpowering it wasn't like um loud by any stretch of the word but i could still pick up you know hints of the jasmine also if i didn't mention this in the beginning the divina was giving this fragrance some green you know like green um what do you what, what would i say it was giving this fragrance some greenness but not overbearing greenness but it's like touches touches of green notes in the opening of the fragrance it did not last that long though it went off and you know as the fragrance dried down i didn't get the greenness that greenness that i was getting i didn't get it anymore what I got in the dry down of the fragrance is that whipped cream and the vanilla. And then I got a little bit of the amber wood that made the fragrance warm. And also it made the fragrance very bold, not loud, but bold. And I love that about the fragrance. I love the boldness of the fragrance. It's not loud at all. It's very bold and sexy and very edible. So this is 
it's not a gum it's, it's not a gum one that i would say you can use in the winter but it's a summer gum one this is it's, this is a true summer gum one what i didn't say also was that if you can tell i did not mention the orange i did not get the orange at all i did not get any orange from this fragrance what i got was the saffron i think the benzoin in here um the ben i got the saffron i got a banana in the opening of the fragrance but then it went away and then as the fragrance dries down you know you pick the jasmine a little bit you know lingering here and there you also getting the date the date is giving this fragrance that sweetness and i also think that the caramel in the fragrance is also adding to the sweetness and the creaminess of the fragrance when the fragrance dry down so you're talking about caramel you're talking about vanilla and then you're also talking about whipped cream all together you know in the dry down it is so beautiful when i say this fragrance is a true summer garment this is what i want um gelato that yummy gelato um yummy pistachio gelato 33 this is a true true gourmand but a summer gourmand this is not a gourmand like fragrance this is so beautiful and i'm so happy that i gave the fragrance a chance to sit for two days and then reuse it i'm so happy about that because if i didn't do that i would not be telling you this experience that you know i've had i would have said that i was disappointed because initially when i sprayed this fragrance guys believe me you i was like uh-huh uh what is this <laughs> so letting it sit for a little bit actually helped the fragrance to you know perform the fragrance macerated with my environment it sat a little bit got to know my temperature got to know my house and you know how they feel of the house and then it performed really really well for me guys longevity this fragrance gave me a solid eight hours longevity eight hours straight scent bubble this is a straight they perform set scent bubble i was smelling it for about maybe an hour on myself like you know when i turn around about an hour i was smelling this fragrance when i wore this fragrance the second time i got two people to compliment me actually the first time i wore this fragrance i actually got two people i got a nurse and a patient to compliment me on the fragrance they said that i wasn't feeling the fragrance the first time i sprayed it on the second time and the third time i sprayed this fragrance on i was feeling myself i wasn't even waiting for anybody to tell me how i smell i was feeling myself like i said scent bubble like for me it was about an hour then i couldn't you know smell it but then every now and then i would turn my head or move my arms and then you know i'll get whips of the dry down so beautiful so gorgeous so performance this fragrance performs solid eight hours i can still smell this fragrance on my skin so it's a high performing fragrance guys now let's talk about where you can wear this fragrance to this fragrance i see myself wearing it every day it's like every day it's signature worthy fragrance note um fragrance for me this can be like my signature that i will be known by this fragrance you can wear in the morning you can wear in the evening you can wear on a dinner date you can wear to a party it's a versatile fragrance in my opinion from the three times that i have used this fragrance i i honestly you know believe that you know i can i see myself wearing this fragrance to so many different places doing my everyday runs going to the grocery store i can use this fragrance and transition this all the way to nighttime if my husband wants to take me out or if i have a party to go to so this is a versatile fragrance now is it a fragrance that can be used all weather no 
no no no no this fragrance i think will do very well in the spring it's doing very well in the summer and then i think maybe fall like early fall you can go like mid fall with this fragrance but then again guys fragrance is you know wear what you want to wear when you want to wear it and however you want to wear it so if you feel like it's dead of winter and you want to wear this fragrance go ahead i'm just saying that i feel like this fragrance performs really really well when there is a little bit of heat to you know mix to make all the fragrance notes bloom on your skin i think when there is a little bit of heat everything like starts to like macerate on your skin and it blooms and then it gives that it gives the fragrance that boldness that you know i experienced the second and third time that i wore this fragrance so for me spring summer and early fall will be appropriate seasons to wear ambrosia imperial imperial i move on what can you guys what can you pair with this fragrance ambrosia imperial definitely keali vanilla 28 will pair really really well with this fragrance also i see that you can pair this fragrance with nishane ani this fragrance i think would be bold with the ginger in nishane ani with you know the um i think nishane ani has jasmine too and then it, of course it has the vanilla so i think and then it also has bergamot so with that bergamot and ginger and the jasmine and the vanilla in nishane ani the two of the two of these fragrances will pair really really well it will be so bold i can't wait to do that um combination that layering also quite contour contour suit pacific vanilla 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 cocoa will also pair really well i actually have the fragrance here will pair and then there is one called um vanilla vanilla banana banana something like that vanilla banana something <laughs> yeah i i did a haul about this fragrance maybe i haven't posted it yet but yeah it will pair really really well with this fragrance but the combination i'm looking forward to pairing this fragrance with is annie and then keali vanilla 28 so these two fragrances will pair very well with ambrosia imperial if you want to layer this fragrance also if you want to do like a bath routine i do have hey human hey humans and this is the body lotion and i think this is the shower gel this is called banana aloe this is straight up like straight up fresh banana like fresh fresh peeled banana ripe banana that you get in so if you get this it's on amazon i can leave a direct link to amazon i think i have to start doing stuff on my amazon storefront so i can leave a direct link and you can get this so this it will pair exceptionally well if you do this routine you will thank me later this summer you will be smelling edible you'll be smelling <laughs> you'll be smelling edible you'll be feeling yourself you want to take a bite of you out of yourself imagine going to bed and then you do this routine and then you lay in your bed oh my god on your fresh laid linen maybe you sleep on white sheets <laughs> oh my god this is a vibe for a nighttime routine even for early morning routine when you are going to bed and you are going to bed when you are going to work you can definitely definitely do this routine i move on so do i think that ambrosia imperial is worth the price is worth the 245 dollars that uh, you know it's retailing for definitely even if i did not get the 30 percent of coupon i will definitely buy this fragrance for 245 dollars definitely definitely i'm going to buy this fragrance it has it's that good it's that versatile it's the versatility of the fragrance that is worth the 225 dollars that this fragrance is being retailed for is that versatility is the fact is the fact that this can easily you know be somebody's um signature scent i can actually see myself 
having this as a signature scent wearing this all day every day i know i've had this for just a little bit and i already could see a dent and this is a straight deeper form so you really do not need to over spray this fragrance so i see myself using this fragrance a lot and so i will honestly and boldly say it's worth the price i move on well guys if you have made it to the end and you like what you see go ahead and thumbs up the video leave me comment in the comment section also if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe to the channel ai the great aisha congratulations i enjoyed i'm enjoying your labor fruits of your labor i'm enjoying this fragrance it's a beautiful fragrance i'm so proud that navitus perform you know collaborated with a woman of color um, and i'm very very proud of you even though you know uh, in my head you are my girl if this was crap i would have told you girl this is crap but it's not and i'm very very proud to have this in my collection i'm very proud to say that you know i own something that you created so thank you for creating this beautiful fragrance for all of us thank you bye guys